Hi everyone, hope you're all well. In this video we're going to talk about AI image generators, what they are, how you can use them, and some popular AI image generators that are out there. So what are image gener AI image generators? An AI image generator is a text-to-image tool that was designed to make it easier for digital marketers and content creators to create images online. By using a machine learning algorithm, they are able to generate realistic photos and illustrate based illustrations based on a set of text instructions. By using the machine learning algorithm, they're able to generate realistic photos, illustrations based on a set of instructions as well. An AI text to image generator often makes use of a machine learning technique called artificial neural networks that can receive input in the form of words, which it then processes to make an, to generate an image. The entire process takes a few seconds, so you can see the results of your work almost immediately. But before they are reliably deployed, neural networks require a lot of training, um, almost like connect the connection, making the connection between words and objects for the first time. This is the same process that AI generators go through during training, but as, at a much faster speed with a lot more data. Um, there's a few different types of text to model, text to image AI models, which have evolved over the years. So one type of text-to-image AI model is the Generative Adversarial Networks, so GANs. So earlier iterations of AI-generated images relied on these uh, GA GANs. Um, in these models, two neural networks are pitted against each other, and one network, the generator, is responsible for creating the images, while the second network, the discriminator, is used to determine whether or not the images are real or fake. Uh, moving away from this, then, are the diffusion models. So uh, text-to-image AI mo models are moving away from GANs and towards diffusion models, um, which is a completely different approach. So diffusion models are trained on hundreds of millions of images, each with a caption describing, in, describing the image in words to learn, and the relationship between text and images through the process um, as well. Um, and in this process, the network also learns to infer other conceptual information about the world, like what colors or elements would make an image feel like it was created by a certain brand or a certain company. And after they've been trained, the models learn to take a text prompt provided by the user, create a low resolution image, and then gradually adding details to turn it into a full image, because it's now learnt how to do it a billion times over. And this process is repeated until the final high resolution images, image is produced. Um, diffusion models don't just modify existing images, they generate everything from scratch without reference to any images that you might find on the internet. That means if you ask them to generate an image of a dog, for example, they won't just find an image of a dog and then add some details to it. They'll create the image of a dog from scratch based on their understanding of what a dog is. And this approach has quite a few benefits. They're, they're more efficient to train. Images generated by diffusion models are more realistic and it makes it easier to control the generated images. For example, if you want the dog to be a specific color, then you can just include that in your text prompt as well. Overall, text-to-image AI models have come a long way in recent years, and with the advent of diffusion models, they're able to generate more realistic-looking images than ever before. So now that we understand how this works, um, now let's take a look at some popular AI image generators. So a really popular AI image generator tool out there is Midjourney. Midjourney's platform makes it really easy to create beautiful art using uh, AI. The uh, Midjourney's uh, art generator is really advanced and anyone can create professional quality image pieces with simply just a, a click of the button. So Midjourney is an AI image operator uh, generator like OpenAI and it's the name of an artificial intelli intelligence project that's being tested and improved and has been operations in operation since July 2022. This project is gradually gaining popularity and is quite famous on Discord's uh, platform as well. In Midjourney can create an artificial image from piece of information given piece of given information. Artificial intelligence will then analyze the user's information to get the data and return the results. The system has a really vast database and complex algorithm to combine images related to keywords into a completed picture. If you go onto the website and click on their showcase, they'll show you some uh, existing AI created images um, as well in their community showcase and you can see different kind of really high quality images and all of these images were created um, 
through AI by people just simply using uh, this app as well. Midjourney has its own set of pros and cons that should be considered. Some of the pros of Midjourney is that it's really a, a quick and easy image generation with just a simple text prompt. You can generate st stunning images and unique images as well in a matter of min minutes. Beta versions are available via Discord bots, so Midjourney is currently in beta and can be accessed through Discord, Discord bots, making it easy to use and accessible to everyone. And this whole community showcase thing is really good because the community showcase feature allows you to browse and be inspired by the user's artwork and filter them by recent and top related and things like that. Some of the cons of Midjourney is that the AI generated art copyright regulations are unclear and it can lead to some legal issues. And compared to some other AI art tools, the, art, the app's functionality might be limited. But still, the, the quality of the work is really high and it might be even something um, just to even play around with and have a look at to see what kind of images that you can create. Um, they have a documentation, documentation section where you can sort of learn sort of uh, how to get started, the user guide and uh, how to get started using Discord as well. Um, so that's also a really popular option as well. So another popular image uh, generating tool using AI platform is Hypotenuse AI. So Hypotenuse AI image generation tool is a really smart program capable of translating your text prompts into an image in any style that you want, despite having never seen a picture of, for example, say a horse swimming underwater, Hypotenuse AI's image generator can extrapolate from what it has learned to render it for you. In the same way, you and I can probably sketch a bad drawing of what we know of horses underwater. In doing so, the image generates a are not copied from anywhere and they're completely unique to you. With Hypotenuse AI, you can try it for free. They do have a free trial. You can sign up with uh, your email or even just with the Google account and you can sign up and with the, with for a free trial as well. So if you wanted to sign up with Google, for example, you just want to click on continue with Google. And then you're kind of presented with this image generation uh, platform. So the way their platform works is you input a small description of what you want to see and their AI will generate that a picture for you. Like our AI content writers um, and some other AI content writers, their images are generated from scratch and each time just from what the inputs that you give it. Their AI has learned from millions of images and text all over the web and gained an understanding on how to read and create relevant pictures. Each time you hit that generate button, it doesn't copy or pull images from anywhere, but considers the concept that it knows and creates new images from scratch each time. So what you want to do once you've signed up is you can essentially just go through all of these and all these fields and just fill in what you want. Um, if you're unsure, you can always try an example. So the first thing that you want to do is describe your dis dis desired image. Um, and you can see some uh, placeholder values in there, but what you can do is try an example and it'll generate an example for you. So for example, seaside time, digital art illustration, digital painting, concept art, shiny, whatever it is. Um, and then what you can do then is switch the guide me section on and off as well. So you can choose like what type of photo that you want, um, aesthetic, mood lighting, artist style and things like that. So we'll keep it really simple. Say we'll do or even cat with a cowboy hat, for example. Um, and then we can choose what type of image. So do you want a photograph, a digital art illustration, 3D render or artwork? We'll do digital art. Um, aesthetic, so what kind of aesthetic do you want? Do you want sort of like a cyberpunk, fantasy, cybernetic, whatever it is? Um, say we'll do cybernetic. And then what kind of mood lighting that you want? If you want sort of light, calm, dramatic, golden hour, things like that. And you can select up to three. And what kind of style that you want it in. If you want it an oil painting, digital painting, airbrush, um, things like that as well. And you can select up to three as well. Or you can just leave it blank. Um, again, so this is only here whenever you are, you have the guide me toggle selected. Um, otherwise, you can just type in every all of these things in here directly. And then you can choose what sizing that you want it as well. And then once you're done, you just click generate. And you just wait for your image to essentially be rendered.
and once it's done it'll load all of the images that it comes up um, based on the prompts that you've selected and typed in um, and these images are completely unique they've not been pulled from a certain website or anything like that it's usually it's fully fo following the prompts that you've given it and then from there you have the option to save any images that you like and then you can use them for whatever purposes that you need them for um, there's lots of uses for AI generated art and tools like this make it really easy to kind of do it yourself and do it at home as well. So that's using the guided prompts here, but what you can do is unselect that and then just type everything um, within the prompt here. And again, you can always try an example um, and you can see uh, it comes with all the prompts on there as well. So pencil drawing of a person, say we're going to train and the different sort of uh, styles that they have here as well. Um, and then once you're done, again, you just want to pick the sizing and then you just want to click generate and see what it comes up with as well. And it's the same process. You just type in all the features that you want of this image, click generate, and then again, your images will be generating on the right side. Um, and then you can just pick from them as well. And you can see all of the images loaded. And again, from here, um, it'll show you the, it'll show you the a prompt that you use and the prompt that they, they've used and you can from there you can download them um, when you are downloading from the free trial they will come with a watermark and um, to remove that watermark you do need to subscribe to their premium version which is about $29 a month so now let's talk about some uses there are lots of ways that you can use images that are that have been generated by AI one use case might be through content marketing if you are a small time creator who writes uh, for a living, you don't have a marketing budget um, nor a talented crew to kind of work with. So creators like yourself have to search for sort of stock photos, to use blog pictures, copywriting captions to market your newsletter subscriptions, or if you're writing um, blog pieces, journals, things like that, good, Im good images um, are also really important for that. But you might not always have the budget for it or even the time. This is where uh, image gener generated, Im AI generated images can really help. Um, because they can execute that task instantly without a lot of complaints, whether that's through ads, product showcases, blog pictures, social media posts, AI image generators have been trained to do it all, low cost and big impact, depending on what platform that you use. Um, on a larger scale, um, AI content marketing can be a completely different ballgame altogether. Another surprising use of AI is through architecture and design. So with the rising popular, popularity of image generators using AI, a lot of people, amateurs and professionals, have been turning to AI for design inspiration for their homes and business. Even the most outlandish concepts can now be done in minutes without having to construct 3D models from scratch. It can address design flaws and architectural weaknesses, and this would also mean that that process is a lot less stressful. Granted, a designer will still have to go through several iterations, including minor tweaks on the graphic editors before the image can be reliably used as conceptual model, but that generative AI can help ease the creative load. Uh, today, AI-generated art is used to create new forms of music and poetry. Advertising, architecture, fashion and film are just some of the fields where realistic images and animations made from AI can make a really sizable impact. As mentioned before, depending on what platform you use, um, so for example, this is hypotenuse, um, the images that you create are, cop are free uh, copyright, making, a really, making it a really great tool for content mar marketing if you're needing uh, images for your blog, um, for your social media posts and things like that. So with hypotenuse, every time you hit generate, it doesn't copy or pull images from anywhere, but it considers the concept that it knows and creates new images each time. So these four images that we've created, they aren't uh, any, there aren't any other images like that on the internet. Um, so these are completely unique. Um, when you are describing your image, it's really important that the more detailed your prompt is, the more likely your results will be even more uniquely yours. If you are worried about co someone copying design, don't be, there's always a chance that someone will use a similar prompt, but Hypotenuse is there to kind of help brainstorm and automate tedious tasks to kind of stay creative. Um, Hypotenuse, Midjourney, Dali, all of these AIs, they pull, for, they don't pull images from the con from the, they don't pull from any existing images, they essentially just create new images as well. With Hypotenuse, the images that you create with them are public domain. You don't own the copyright. Um, 
they can be used for by anyone for any purpose including commercial purposes so feel free that, to use them for anything that you like but they can be also be used by other people as well Having said that, there are some cons to AI-generated art. Um, one of the cons is that it lacks human touch. So AI-generated art may lack that personal touch and emotional depth that can come with being created by a human artist. Um, and there are always some ethical concerns. So some people are concerned about the ethical implications of using AI to create art, particularly if it results in the displacement of human artists. Being a relatively new form of technology, it opens up the tool to potential abuse um, and there are, uh, depending on what platform you use, there are some placeholders measures out there to kind of facilitate that concern. Um, for example, Hypot News AI, it censors not safe for work content. So anything with, you know, hateful content, profanity, things like that, um, across all tools as basic safeguard against potential abuse. It may not be much, but it's something better than nothing. Um, Another issue can also just be that there is limited creative control. So while AI algorithms can generate art and you can be as specific as you want whenever you are describing the art, the artist still has some limited control over the final product as the algorithm is making decisions about the art's um, placement of where they've, of their composition and style as well. Um, but overall, the pros and cons of AI generated art will depend on the specific use case and goals of the artist or organization that's using it. Overall, opinions on AI-generated art will vary from artist to artist, and some may see it as a valuable tool for enhancing their art artistic practice, while others might see it as a threat to their livelihood and integrity of art itself. Um, what's really important is that you are using it in a way that enhances your business, that enhances your skills as well. Um, it's definitely a really useful tool, and it can be used to help save some time and kind of enhance the body of your work as well. Um, even if you want to try out some of the things as well it's um it's definitely something worth trying at least especially with hypotenuse as it comes with the free trial um, mid journey as well you can, you can join through discord so there's definitely some use cases out there and definitely i think it should it should be something that everyone should try maybe not something for for every part of their business but something definitely that can save some time or streamline your work a little bit easier